Hey guys, Angela here with Turo Family Chiropractic and your weekly PSA or piece of salutogenic advice um, in honor of our Go Greens month uh, for National Tr Nutrition Month. Um, this one, this week is actually coming by request from people in the office, uh, the incredible edible kale. So I'm sort of known, anyone who knows me or has had me over for dinner knows that I'm known for uh, my famous kale salad <laughs> where um, I tend to, I, I don't know, the way I do it, I guess people tend to like the way that I do kale. Um, so this actually started from a friend of mine that I was living with at one point. I was making a kale salad and she was sitting there making faces at it. And I was like, just try some. And she was like, no, no, that kale's gross. I, I'm not going to eat that. And I'm like, okay, fine. And I made it another time. And I was like, just try it. Uh, and she tried it and was actually very pleasantly surprised. And not only did she like it, but she actually asked for seconds for it. And then another time later on requested that I make it. So, um, and this is not, not an isolated incident. Many people who say that they hate kale, that it's gross, that they won't eat it, have liked the salads that I prepare with it. Um, and Erin requested that I share my secret with you guys for how I make the incredible edible kale. Um, and it's pretty simple and it's pretty silly. Um, so the key to good tasting delicious kale is to massage it before you eat it. And yes, that is exactly like it sounds. You are actually going to basically just uh, like using your hands, crunch up, massage your kale. Um, I do this. So what I do is I wash it, uh, pat it dry with just some paper towels, and then um, take the stalks off. So this, this would be after washing it. Drizzle a little bit of olive oil and then literally just with my hands, massage the kale, crunch it up. And what this is gonna do is break down all that fibrous material. So kale is very, all vegetables have a lot of fiber in them. Kale in particular has a lot of fibrous tissue in there. Um, so you need to break that down. And what that's gonna do one, it's going to make it a lot easier to eat, to chew, and to digest. And it's also going to make it taste better because it's going to break down some of that bitterness. So that seems, bitter is the word that tends to be used with kale. People will say, oh, I don't like it. It's too bitter. And raw kale is, yes, extremely bitter. So by breaking down those fibers, you're going to release some of the other flavors and, um, and take down that bitter level a lot. And what's really, really cool is when you do this, you can actually see the difference. So as you're massaging it, you will actually see it getting a darker, more vibrant green color, which is really, really cool. So that you can actually see the change happening. And that's what's going to enhance that flavor profile, make it more palatable, uh, make it more easily digestible. So silly i know people always make fun of me <laughs> anytime i bring a kale salad now they're like oh did you massage your kale i'm like well of course i did <laughs> but give it a shot if you're somebody who is not a big fan of raw kale massage it before adding in everything else that you're going to put in your salad and i promise you it is going to taste much much better um, you can even do this an hour or two before you're going to eat it and let it sit with that olive oil on it and that's just going to have it uh, soften up a little bit more as well but i do it and eat it right away and it makes it so much better i promise you so <laughs> Thanks for tuning in this week. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the incredible Edible Kale. Make sure you're following us in our What the Health group. Um, always discussing, you know, current health issues, so some more serious than, than kale, but also, you know, keeping you guys posted with recipes and tips and tricks like this so that you can get healthy and stay healthy for life. All right, we'll see you guys next week, same time. Have a good day.